What's up, everyone? Welcome to my channel. This is Paul's Philosophy 1. And I would like to make this a series, and I would like to start off with the beginning. The beginning will start it all. What was at the beginning? Uh, based on my belief, current belief in philosophy, the beginning is infinity. Because with infinity, there's no more question to ask anymore on what came before that. Because if you continue to ask the question, what came before God, who created God, yada yada yada, you will always continue to keep asking more and more, what came before that, what came before that, what came before that, and eventually you hit to the point where you realize that you can ask that for all eternity. Therefore, if you continue to ask and ask and ask and there's no end to it, then it must mean that what exists in the beginning is infinity because there is really no beginning other than just infinity. Infinity has no end, has no beginning. Infinity just is. So, right there right now, beginning is infinity. Now let's continue. This infinity is of an intellectual nature that comprise of living mathematics which allows for infinite possibilities and probabilities. You may have come into contact with this infinite living math via psychedelics in the form of geometrical patterns, colors, and shapes. But that right there, my friend, is actually the living mathematics that you are seeing. <clears throat> And it's where all creation comes from. This infinite living mathematic complex. So when you take a substance that contains the chemical properties to expand your senses and awareness, you pierce through the veil of this illusion world that we live in, you know, this material physical world that we live in, this Maya that the Egyptians call pierce through it with the psychedelic and you get a glimpse of what is actually of what it is actually comprised of which is the living mathematics so here's the metaphor to better understand it let's say I am Steve you know the main minecraft character I don't know if you guys are familiar with minecraft but apparently when you play minecraft you begin with the character named Steve he's also the creator of minecraft so, in this Minecraft world, I go about my day creating and mining for ores. Then one day, let's just say that I come across this beautiful plant within Minecraft. And I decide to eat this plant and lo and behold, it contains the properties, chemical properties to temporarily enhance my sensory to see the gaming code that runs and creates the graphical Minecraft world. And holy shit, pierce through the veil, you know what I'm saying? So without the code, there is no Minecraft. Because the gaming code is the foundation, it's what holds the Minecraft world, world intact in place. It gives it properties, elements, and meaning. And without the code, there's no Minecraft. And without the living mathematic complex, there is no us. There is no creation. Our code for existence and creation is living mathematics. It is eternal, it is infinite, it is its own creator and creation. It is the all and everything is contained within its internal realm of infinity. Yes. So, look around you. If you look around you, all of creation and nature, everything consists of mathematics. Everything is made of mathematics. Made is only possible through mathematics. That's the reason why I call it living mathematics. 
because it's it's like it's it's live it's conscious it's knows it's aware yeah and it's my theory of the beginning and hopefully you found this very insightful and interesting and mind-blowing because I think it's mind-blowing and hope you enjoy the beginning part one there will be more of this series but I just like to start off with the beginning it makes sense to start off with the beginning since this is one all right I'm mumbling I'm cutting it peace and love namaste